having a laugh, everyone knows how to have a laugh. Sometimes you might kick the ball and it might go backwards, but you have a giggle and a laugh and everyone just laughs with you, not at you, with you. I think it's how it brings a lot of people together. Um, it's, uh, you know, you make friends here, you, you make people feel welcome and it's just such a nice warm environment. I met my fiance through We Wear The Same Shirt. We've been together for 20 months now. I think it, we're all in the same boat and we've all got our problems, and, but we come here to have fun. Oh, brilliant, like Norman and the people, if I've ever had a problem, I'd go and speak to them and they would give me advice. I'd like to think that uh, we care about the people we work with, um, we provide opportunities and then it's over to the people. We try to create the right environment um, where people can thrive and, and improve and, and have fun because that's what you know another thing that we're all about and then the people that want to go further and do some qualifications whether it be uh, coaching qualifications or in general education then we're there to support them and signpost them so I think we're making great strides. Uh, I always believe that people vote with their feet and very rarely now do we have less than 18 or 20 people turn up to the sessions. I mean, um, you know, a lot of people um, at this group perhaps they, they don't um, they don't get to socialise that often, you know, and um, you know, specifically with things like autism and that, you know, they can become kind of like hermits, you know, they don't get out that much, and um, it's a great program for getting people to actually get out, meet people. Um, and take part in doing something they love as well. Two and a half years now that we wear the same shirt sessions been going and Dan's been at the club as it happens two and a half years and Dan ticked uh, he'd love to be involved with the mental health project so uh, two and a half years on he's got to know all the guys he enjoys coming he comes regularly and uh, they all love to see him when he when he arrives at the session so nice and simple really he, he, he wanted to be involved and he's been a big part of the sessions. He, he's our ambassador uh, we wear the same shirt ambassador so he comes along and he's brilliant, he's really, really good. I go over to the county every week and um, I do the guy Von, I always see him and, and shake and he, he goes the extra, extra mile and there's not many people that do that. Colin, you're the director for Equality and Diversity at the club. Um, what does it mean to you to see a player like Dan Butler giving a support to a programme like the Weaver Association? I think it's absolutely fantastic. I think the great thing about Dan turning up as a professional footballer is he doesn't just stand around and turn up. He gets involved. He's involved in the session now with the coaching. Uh, he knows a lot of the guys by first name and he'll sit down and he'll have a chat with them. He's got the DSA player of the year, he's, he's popular off the field as well as on the field so yeah, I think that's a testament to him and the hard work and, and the time he puts in. It shows you know, what players can do in the community and it's important and as a fan owned club it's, it's more, even more important for Newport County. Um, it was probably about a month after I first joined the club, um, I met Norman for the first time and uh, he asked me if I wanted to come down to a session and then um, since then I've become ambassador. You said you're the ambassador, but that doesn't actually mean that you have to come down that often. No. You know, uh, the club doesn't ask you to do that, no. it's something that you do for yeah, yourself. Yeah. So what makes motivate you there? Honestly, um, I do it for everyone on the pitch, to be honest. Um, like I've said before in previous interviews, they support me on the weekend. Um, a lot of them stay in contact with me on social media, so uh, I just try my best to do something back to them. And um, what has been your highlight in the last two years of working with these guys? Uh, it's, been, it's been some funny times, but um, I think about a month ago when we played Chelsea under 21s, um, they were playing on the pitch at half time. So I was lucky enough to watch them on the pitch, went over, I supported them, and um, for me that was probably my heart. It's the first time I've done something like this at a football club, and I honestly didn't realise the feeling that you get back from making people happy. Obviously I've gained their trust, I've uh, gained their support and um, now I've got real friendships with all of them.